Hi everyone, it's Simon Keeling here at weatherweb.net on Tuesday the 5th of August. Thanks again for watching. Now we're having a fundraising month this month, as you know, uh, for Macmillan Cancer Support. And weatherweb.net is completely free of charge. We don't charge you for the use of the site at all and all the information's on there. But what we're asking this month is for you to, no to donate as if you were a subscriber uh, to uh, Macmillan Cancer Support. Now you do this by going to justgiving.com forward slash sailing weather and you'll come up with this page, okay? So then what you do is you just click on donate here and that takes you to a page that then asks you to fill in all of your details and the amount that you're going to donate on there. So please, please, please dig deep and uh, give some money for Macmillan Cancer Relief uh, on behalf of weatherweb.net. Thank you for doing that. Um, okay, so on with the forecast, and this is the radar from this afternoon. Um, it's showing us these bands of showers just moving the way northeastwards uh, through the western sides of the country. One or two heavy bursts in there. Um, so effectively it was just a day uh, where we saw a gradual deterioration, but dry up towards the north and east. What has our attention at the moment is ex-Hurricane Bertha. And um, these are the predictions as to how Bertha is expected to be seen uh, over the coming days. Um, before I get on to that, I just want to show you this one first of all. I forgot I put this in. Uh, this is the ECM WF and it goes in 24 hour steps. The time is up here and the date as well. Now this is really just an interesting one because it shows you how a hurricane gets picked up by the jet stream and transmitted across, or uh, transported across the Atlantic. So what we've got is the jet stream going through here okay this is the chart from last night so we've got the jet stream that's uh, going through there at the moment and just watch what happens here comes Bertha look into the system here so this is on Thursday and then watch what happens as Bertha gets hooked up into the jet stream look here it goes into the jet stream across the Atlantic deepening as it crosses the jet stream and then there's the position for midnight on the 11th. So uh, you see there how the thing, whole thing just gets picked up and pushed across the Atlantic through the course of this weekend. Fascinating to see those dynamics at work. So that's midnight on the 11th as far as the ECMWF is concerned. This is the ECMWF ensemble. So it has a very similar situation with um, having the main low up towards the northwest of Scotland. It kind of loses birth somewhere in here, but it's still there and bringing us breezy conditions. The Canadian looking like that, uh, got the low pressure somewhere across the west of Scotland, but nowhere near as intense. Whereas the GFS Ensemble really goes for it, puts in a marked low and uh, gives us some strong winds down to the south. Now, it's important to note that this isn't actually Bertha um, that it's seeing there. If I just go back, you notice what happens here. Look, the Bertha comes in there to the south of the main low up to the north. So this is the main low feature here. This is Bertha down here and you notice that uh, it comes in to the south of that low and then swings around the low look and gets absorbed by the main low which then deepens that whole system off. So it's not actually Bertha itself, it's Bertha that contributes to that system. But you can see there the uh, the strength of the winds look around that low. So the GFS Ensemble certainly seeing something coming in. Of course, keep you updated on uh, on how it sees things. Um, but I want to show you these as well. This is the uh, CFS predictions, um, the weekly predictions from the CFS. Let's just zoom in a little bit on those for you. This is week one. So um, there's the UK. Look, you've got to twist your head a little bit for this but there's the UK just underneath there. So this is week one, look, low pressure off towards, or low the normal heights off towards the west. This is a trough in the Atlantic here with a ridge off towards the east. So it's certainly seeing uh, the trough that's in the Atlantic now and the additional effects of Bertha. Um, remember it too will be having difficulty trying to resolve what Bertha does and what happens after. But what it does see, and I'm quite pleased by this, is the idea of the deep trough and the low across the UK look during uh, week two, so from the 12th to the 18th, builds the ridge out towards the east, there's the trough across us, there's the ridge off towards the east, sorry, I should have said a ridge here, out towards the west, and that sets up quite well for the week three and week four predictions, because week three, from the 19th to the 25th of August, looking like this, look, 
it builds the ridge back to the north, puts the trough off towards the east. So the pattern that we're seeing is something like that. So probably with some cut-off feature here. Um, lower the normal heights off to the east, so it suggests that around the early part of this week, the trough will be clearing off towards the east, this high trying to get in. And what that does is it pulls back in the more easterly winds by that final third of the month. And it's this idea that I've been telling you about. Watch the date around the 20th. It could be um, just before or just after, but um, watch for an improvement around those dates. And then we find um, that um, by the 26th, so this is um, week four, what it's then trying to do is to bring a trough back in. So by bringing this trough, well, builds the ridge off east in Canada here, we've got the trough back in, look, we've got the ridge off towards the east again. So we're going back into the battle lines again, and I think what it's trying to say here is, look, we're not out the woods as far as Atlantic hurricanes are concerned, um, because I think this is trying to pick up on the idea of something else coming in at the end of the month. So I think we could go for probably four or five days of fair weather at the moment, just right at the end of the month, so 20th, 21st, and then look for this breakdown coming in again right at that very end part of the month. But I do think that the signs are promising here for early September, because what I think would happen is that this trough disappears off down to the south. We find the ridge l linking through, so effectively we're getting a ridge like that. And I think that may well set us up for a decent beginning to September. But we'll have to watch this space and see what the, what the hurricanes do. Much is dependent on those. Interesting just to look at the temperature predictions from the CFS as well, because something that um, is well worth taking note of that is of interest is just how cold look the states remain. This is week one, and uh, you see here, look, these temperatures here, these are temperatures of more than four degrees below normal across the western states and one to three degrees below normal across many central areas. Uh, week two, look at that, it still stays so cold. This is f almost five degrees below here across the northern states and Canada. And also look too how cold it is down across South America as well. And then into uh, weeks three and four, Four. Um, this is week three. Again, look, we remain cold across most of the states. And then through week four, again, it's still staying cold. Look, and not only that, look, South America cold through week four, and also South America cold through week three as well. This has got to be having a significant impact on crops. Of course, we'll uh, keep you up to date on uh, how things change and, and what happens with that. But I think that's going to have such a, a, an impact on things. Um, don't forget that um, you can uh, donate to Macmillan Cancer Support through our Just Giving page. Just giving dot com forward slash sailing weather please do donate if you haven't already please get onto it and do it now um, there are many thousands of you that watch the video so even if you just gave a tenner each can you imagine what sort of funds we could raise so thank you for your continued support thank you for watching weatherbib.net please do tell your friends and colleagues about us and uh, whatever you're doing keep the sun shining and bye for now